24 Shriners Children's Hospital Clearwater Invitational presented by Evo Shield. Beautiful day in Clearwater, Florida, opening day of our Invitational, and we've got a doozy. Top 10 showdown with a pair of teams that were in the national semifinals a year ago, Stanford and Florida State. Jess, and now in her 16th season at Florida State, The first delivery is a hit by pitch in your scorebook. There's a shot and snagged it short by Issa Torres. In seven RBI, and that is the most home runs by a Cardinal this century. Now 24 years old. Another hard shot, Flaherty trying to double off Carlin, and she does. Good defense behind her royalty. Just a lot of energy, a lot of pop, great movement. Preseason All-American. First pitch swinging, popped up to the left side, and that'll fall for Janai Kerr. Good speed, and she'll head for second. And immediately a runner in scoring position for the Seminoles. Mudge, small ball to sacrifice her over, and Kerr to third with one out. Popped up in foul territory. Gall is under it, and Kerr will have to hang at third. Two down. Middle and still get swing and miss. Strikeout ends the threat. Kerr stranded at third. Mendoza, opening day of the Invitational. 40 games in four days coming your way. And another hard hit ball, but right at royalty. To me about it yesterday. <laughs> First time coaching against her. Here's the 1 0 to Emily Jones. Flaherty with excellent coverage. Got her. Boy, the glove work for the Seminoles early in this one. Devin, Devin Flaherty, not only just get into this, but get up, get the ball out quick. Emily Jones getting down the line, but this play, not just to get to it, but to finish it. She did just that. Royalty, the freshman in the sixth spot. Ooh, second hit batter for Royalty. Well, you know the opportunity to Alistair uh, playing around with the lineup in the flex spot a little bit. Hot shot through the wickets at first as it gets by Harding. And Stanford will have runners on the corners for Kennedy coming up. Royalty snags another one. That is four hot shots that they have kept in the infield for outs. And both through the heart and get get hitters to swing, bait them into swinging at that rise ball. Jams Flaherty charging is Kern on the flip for the first out, one pitch, one down. I guess now the the next evolution, right? It's to make everything else stay true and stay to that velocity. Ray Kaser gets a hold of one, and that slides to the right and finds a gap. Stand up double for a team that was best in the country at two baggers last year. Right back to Kennedy, spins to throw the second double play as Mailer got over to cover. And a base runner for perhaps the biggest transfer hitter in the portal this year in Taryn Kern, who comes to back home to Northern California from Indiana. Pretty attacker, low and inside, up and inside, try to make her get that barrel out. Still looking for perhaps a breakthrough at bat. She'll draw another walk that is, what, 10 free passes now already on the season. And that'll put batters and a couple of walks and a slam right back up the middle for a base hit. They will hold the lead runner, Mailer, at third, and the bases are loaded for Allen.
Kelly Kaneshiro who hit long ball, but I don't know. <laughs> Something about Florida air right now. Oh, <laughs> where are we in Arizona? <laughs> Coming to home, Flaherty, they get the lead runner for the first out of the inning on the force. Force out at the plate. Called strike three, two down. Wow, that is some clutch pitching. 2 well pitch, slow roller to short, and from bases loaded with nobody out. Royalty gets out of the jam. And that'll drop in for a base hit in front of Danny Hayes, who is the new left fielder of innings. And she herself uh, turned that double play to get out of the jam in the second. And gets a swing and a miss there of Ross. Her second strikeout, one down, and it's back to the top. Of the rally here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Sydney Berzan, their returning All-American pitcher in the circle right there for LSU. And on the left on our field here, field number eight, the base hit for Janai. <laughs> no need to go anywhere else. Two down. A well, nice Kennedy can throw her rock. See what she does here. 2-0 count. She's aggressive. Got under it. Emily Jones drifting over into right center. Another opportunity gone by the wayside as Kennedy gets out of it. Quickly refocused her back Settled in. Her down. Yeah. And gets the swing and the miss there. So we may see the armbands go away in lieu of the watches at some point. Opposite field and a base hit. Clements is two for two, and here comes Kennedy. Look at her. Struck her out. Base hit, another one the opposite way. Runners on the corners for Stanford. Runner will go ahead and take second base. So two in scoring position. The Cardinal have left six on base through the first three innings. against Taryn Kern for their freshman. Head and field, one down. Yeah. Flaherty swinging through the change at 57 miles an hour. Well, sunlight now coming across the pitcher circle right around her release point, oh, by the way. Wakehazer chops it to short. Mailer's got it. And a one, two, three inning for Stanford. Pitcher's duel. This will be a league game next year yeah. in the ACC. Yeah. <laughs> High fly ball out to left. Kaylee Mudge is under it. We're got, uh, gonna have a clean up in aisle two here in the booth. So much talent in this country. Flaherty, two down. And out of the shadows. 3-2 pitch from Royalty. And Flaherty is there once again. Side retired. She has a chance to be the next big. Pops her up, and that's 
going to drop between Kennedy and Kaneshiro, who may have gotten hurt on the play. Quickly pops up. Stays away from the rise, two on, and that'll push the go-ahead into scoring position. And the freshmen from Florida State are impressed. <laughs> One down to the top of the order, strikeout number five for she's spreading it all over the field. out of Kaneshiro's glove, and the runners will advance. Two now in scoring position as Torres gets to third, Beecham to second. That's not something. Five of six, by the way, this year with a runner in scoring position. Popped up, shallow right. Runner will tag, and back of home plate for Torres. And Kerr gets the sack fly, one nothing Seminoles. Green, it's all she needs to do. It's an off-speed pitch. She identifies it, gets it out onto the green. And because of that, Torres runs very well from third. Good job out in right field. Coke is going to bring that ball in, but really good jump by Torres to get to the back of the dish, move up an extra 60 feet. It hurts. Mudge, back deep, Mailer! Dropped at first base by Gall. Two nothing Seminoles. And this is a great play by River Mailer just to get to this and get rid of it quickly. Perfect throw to first base. This is going to go down as an error to Ava Gall. Just unable to hold on to it. You see the frustration. Swing and a miss, Belvi gets a stolen base down to second. I she didn't like what I said. Like, oh, <laughs> heat, heat, more heat. <laughs> she wanted the off speed. Oh, and Belvi is going to be able to steal third and head for home. And another generated run from speed on the bases for Florida State. Um, Jade Berry. Paying a little bit, you can see the way she looks over, but then in this situation here, does not pay attention that the runner is stealing and kind of she, she almost looks like she tries to hold up that throw, obviously going to go through into left field. So a couple of freshmen Harding. Chopped to third, it backs up Barry. <laughs> And that one gets by Gall at first, and Harding safe into second base. And the defense unwinding a bit here for the uh, Kaneshiro, the catcher, is the only returning player in the same position for this entire defense from their World Series team a year ago. Kennedy gets a strikeout, but Florida State does the damage. Three to Five, six, seven here. And Danley walks the first she faces, Emily Jones. Three one. Down the line at first, the new first baseman, Bueno, taps on the bag. Emily Jones over to second. If there is a pitch clock violation, it would uh, be a strike against the batter or a ball against the pitcher. Flaherty. Only plays to first, two down. Jones moves over to third. Yeah, you want your off speed to be about 10% slower. You want that change up 18 to 20% slower. Got her with it. Danley works out of the jam. Florida State, Tennessee to follow on ESPN our Sunday night double header. Flaherty is safe at first. Everybody seems to be okay. That was Kern. Backhand by Barry over the first, and that's where everything kind of happens so fast in our sport. Throw in the line. It's going to hit Flaherty in the back. It's 
Sky ball, Mailer says, mine, mine, mine. She's got it one down. Here's a look at what the Knowles have coming up. The order. Nice. Right back mm -hmm. to Kennedy, over to first. Two down. Flaherty down to second base. Pitcher fielding practice. Ah, Sorry. Yes. Pitcher. <laughs> yeah. That one gets by Kanashiro, and another run will score as Flaherty comes home. Good at bat for Katie Dack to draw the walk. Two on. And that'll get Janai Kerr, top of the order, back around. That's been Florida State's offense this game. RBI sacrifice fly in the fifth. Right back to Chung, and she'll make the play over to first. Last chance coming up. Taryn Kern, can she lead the way for the card? To at least strike first. Left three on in the third, left two on in the second and the fourth, and there's a base hit to open up the seventh. Mailer's been on board all three appearances. Got her. One down. Just outside the chalk. 0 oh, 2. Change up effectively. It's a funky change. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a and two down. <laughs> and that one's elevated, Jess. Yes. But it almost has drops. East Coast and that first cup of coffee on the West Coast for you. Grounder. Torres trying to finish it and goes. for the Seminoles and a 4-0 win in this top 10 showdown against Stanford. House of Royalty, great job going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Best pitcher in the country, Nigel Kennedy. Very impressive. Yeah, Florida State just using that speed to really stir the defense up, putting four runs up on the board. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning on ESPNU. A day